Fire Sam of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jean Foster. This is an American Gold Seal production, directed by James Knight Carter, and coming to you over the World Broadcasting System and Associated Stations. Tarzan, single-handed, has rescued Jean from aboard the pirate ship and swum with her to shore. He carries her into the jungle with him because he believes her own party is not capable of protecting her. Meanwhile, Professor Porter's party are captured by the pirates and set to digging up the beach for the treasure. In the jungle, Tarzan and Jean are caught in the midst of a stampede of elephants. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. else we can do under the circumstances. Then let's change the circumstances. There's my space. But, but do not forget that I have already made overtures to King, which I hope will lead to our escape. I'm not very hopeful. At any rate, I'm not going on. Nice. What do you want now? How much longer do you go on digging? Until you find the treasure. Don't be a fool, Snipes. How long do you think men can last at this rate? We've got to have some rest. They're right, Snipes. You can't work them without rest. Shut up, King. I'm running this here show. King is right. If you expect to get anywhere, act sensible. I, I, I act sensible, huh? You keep be careful of what you said, Carlos. The only thing I'm careful about, Snipes, is not to turn my back to you. What do you mean by that? What I said. I'm not afraid of you, Snipes. And you might as well know it now. If you kill these guys working them like this... I'll do the diggings tomorrow. You're having got the brains of a monkey. Listen to me. Try up, pipe down. We'll start these men digging again in the morning. Oh, uh -huh. that's the way you're going to act, is it? Yes. And if you don't like it, 
of the rest of the crew. How about it, mates? Astor your gap, Snipes, and behave. Ain't I working for the welfare of all of us? Ain't I trying to find the treasure so as we all can have a bit of money? Ain't I? Maybe. But keep a civil tongue in your head when you are talking to white men, you lime rat. Or somebody will take you apart to see what makes you tick. Now, go on about your business. We'll take care of these fellows. Just watch them. That's all I ask. You, King, Wilson, keep going on. Plato, Plato, suppose I let King and Wilson believe that I know where the treasure is hidden and lead them off into the genre. I may get an opportunity to get the better of both of them if I can catch them off their guard. Then, if I can get away, I shall search for Tarzan. Oh, what a help he could be to us. I'm afraid it's too risky, Donald. Besides, you have no weapon. They are ready to be bribed, Clayton. If they think I know where the treasure is and that I am willing to tell them, they will keep it to themselves. Keep it from the others. Why, yet anything to get out of sight of this crew will give us a chance. It's pretty much of a long chance, though, Donald. Do you suppose they'll believe you? I can try. And as for a weapon, what better than this spade at close range? Yes, Dono, I understand. But nevertheless, it's a pretty risky method. What is it, Dono? What is it, Clayton? There is no time to talk now, Philander. But you must follow my lead. Whatever it may be, Clayton, uh, you explain to Le Professeur Portier when you get a chance. Dono's going to try to make King and Wilson believe he knows where the treasure is buried. Lead them to the spot. The rest will be up to him. You're taking a terrible chance, Dono. They'll kill you out of hand if they find you're trying to pull the wool over their eyes. But nothing risked, nothing gained, monsieur. We must do something. I haven't much hope of your putting it over, Donna, but I... Yeah, I shall try it anyway. King! King! What is it? Snipe's gone. Yes, just now. Then come here. I want to talk to you. Back in the jungle, high in the branches of their tree, Jane and Tarzan await the jungle dawn. I can't help it, Tarzan. I'm too upset to sleep. And anyway, while I felt all right on the platform, I don't feel as if I could sleep just sitting here on a limb. Before Jane comes, Tarzan always sleep on branch. Perhaps, but that... Well, I'm not used to it. And I think it will take me a long time, even though I've gotten used to many things since I came to the jungle. One, I suppose, can get used to most anything. I know that the jungle does not frighten me as it did at first. No. Now Jane understands jungle ways. I understand them better than I did. But sometimes I think I learn slowly. Jane learned quickly. You think so, Tarzan? Yes. Perhaps. But I could never... Well, Tarzan, if you ever did have to get away from anything, you can climb into a tree. But what about me? Tarzan always takes Jane. Well, somewhat of a limited existence, though. Always having to be carried wherever I want to go. I wonder, yes. Tarzan. Someday, the French cruiser will come back. And, Tarzan, you will have to go with us. Go? Go where? To my home, America. America? Yes. Leave the jungle? Why, of course. You don't belong in the jungle, you know, Tarzan. But I do. Tarzan does not belong any place else. Well, well, I didn't mean it that way. You see, you don't know it, of course. What I'm trying to say is that you have brains, breeding, everything that goes to make a gentleman. It would not take you very long to fit into the civilized scheme of things. No. Tarzan does not understand what Jane means. But Tarzan belongs in the jungle. Of course. You could not be expected to know. You never have known anything else. How could you? Perhaps, though, Lieutenant Darno or Daddy can convince you. We'll see when we get back to the hut. Jane still want to go back to the hut? Yes, Tarzan. I must. The finality in Jane's voice sets Tarzan to wondering. There must be something about the Tarmangani that he does not understand. They had not been able to defend Jane against the jungle, against the cannibals, or against the cruel Tarmangani from the ship... And yet she still wishes to return to them. Can it be because she has the same sort of feeling for Clayton that he, Tarzan, has for Jane? Tarzan knows why you want to go back. Why? You want to go back to Clayton. Why do you say that? Well, you have no right to say such a thing. Tarzan knows Jane likes Clayton too much. You do not know. It's not true. Then why did Jane keep Tarzan from killing Clayton when Clayton tried to kill Tarzan? Why does Jane always want to go back where Clayton is? Tarzan is no fool. Then don't act like one. Don't be impossible. If you can't be nice, I wish that you would go away and leave me alone. Jane, want Tarzan to go away? Yes. All right. Tarzan, go. Swinging away into the jungle night, Tarzan is soon swallowed by the impenetrable blackness. 
Jane sits straining her eyes out into the dark void. A chill of loneliness creeps into her blood. She half regrets that she spoke so harshly, but she's still angry because of the injustice of Tarzan's accusations. She commences to wish that he were back, but she's too proud to call to him. Trembling to the thunderous voice of Numa, Jane shrinks closer to the rough bark of the great tree that is her sanctuary. Tarzan! Tarzan! Uh, Jane, what? Tarzan? Oh, why? Why, I thought you went away. Tarzan not leave Jane at night alone. Tarzan come back and sit on branch above Jane and watch over her. Tarzan. What? I'm sorry for the way I spoke. Won't you forgive me, Tarzan? Please forgive me. Tarzan's sorry, too. Jane is tired. Jane. Jane. Put your head here on Tarzan's shoulder and go to sleep. Meanwhile, down on the beach, Darno and the others anxiously await King's approach. What do you want? To continue our talk about the treasure. Say, if Snatch finds this out But he can find out only from you or Wilson. Well, for me, I'm willing to listen. Then get Wilson and come away from here. No, no. Wilson stays with the others. I'm not taking any chances. All right, but come over here where the others cannot hear. If you try any monkey, there's no He's taking an awful chance. I hardly dare to hope. Did you tell the professor to be ready? Uh, yes, uh, I'm ready. If Dono is successful, I'll take care of Wilson. I can help you there. No, you look after the professor. I'm really much better, Clayton. I haven't been working as the rest of you have. I'll be able to... Listen, Chris, listen. I must get to Dono. Warn him. Hey there, stay where you are. What do you think you're doing? I want a drink of water. Now keep on walking. Hey, what's going on here? Here, quick, you blow. Dono! Dono! Has Lieutenant Darno or Clayton been shot by the pirates? What will Jane and...